we go. So it keeps opening up right in the middle there. I don't know how well you can see that through all of my hair on my arm. <laughs> but that's it. So it keeps, it l it'll look like it's healing and then all of a sudden it'll just start up again. It's awful. And that's how it looks now. It's been probably two and a half months or so. And it's looking way, way better. <laughs> Which is good. And what did this look like when we started? I, almost like that guy. No, when they started, it was a puzzle oh, about oh, that long and that tall. All right, hang on. I'll move that too far. Okay. Do you have the original? You can take the original picture. No, I have the uh, one before. Yeah. I have the before so you can see. And this was... Uh, That's a little bit of the before. There's more necrosis. Doesn't look like it. The tissue underneath, at least right now, looks very viable. Sorry to bend your arm. You know, this one's wide open. So I'm not sure it needs to be packed. I mean, there's no depth. That's right there, but the, everything's missing. I mean, you're missing a ton of stuff here. Oh. Straighten your hand out. Just flex your flex it. Okay, out again. I don't see any visible tendon, so it's muscle. Yeah. All right. You can relax. That's a nasty, nasty little wound. There is. Doing okay. It's that. Uh, and get started here. Bear with me. You're not bad? Not that bad. Okay. Sorry. Holding together okay? Yes, sir. You're doing fine. Uh, You're doing good. Is uh, it stinging? Yes, sir. That will, uh, that will settle down. It will settle down. Yes, sir. Give it a minute. Okay. Give it a minute. Okay. You're doing great. I'm almost done. Good deal. Almost done. See how much I put in? Mm -hmm. That's how big that space is. Yeah. So I was kind of surprised when I pulled out as much as I did. Sorry to do this. That's fine. This should be changed again by Wednesday. Okay. I'm done pushing it in anyway, okay? Yes, sir. So just sit there for a minute. Yes, sir. We'll tape the tail down and get you dressed, okay? Yes, sir. You're doing good. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah, let's get a big close up on it. You know, even bringing a camera this close makes me nervous. Because if I drop the camera right now, I would be in so much pain. It's not even funny. Try to bring the swing of lamp over here. So I see you shaking real bad, that's why. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. That was the core of the bite. Like, right there. No, I didn't touch it. Um, and at first, well, it kind of looked like that thing right there. This little white head. That little thing right there. That's what it started out as. And, uh, well, I made the mistake of trying to uh, well, do what you would do with any other ingrown hair-like object. And pop it. Oh, God. This was the result. Now, imagine that this thing was probably... Yeah, probably, let's see, yeah, not that big, around, and the whole thing opened up into a giant rupture, and uh, all the tissue, you can kind of see 
what's left of the, the black tissue. Can I get that close? I don't think I can get that close to it. I really can't. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, this was this the whole thing was filled with that black stuff. And uh, as you can see, I mean, it's still the wound is still weeping. No, it's not multiple bites. Um, there's just the one bite here. That's what time and gravity have done. Is it's allowed the poison to spread, moving downward. And uh, actually, this is the second bite I've had. Um, this is a much worse reaction than the first bite. I got lucky. The uh, first bite didn't even leave a scar on the other leg. So I got I got bit right here on the other leg. Uh, but it didn't do anywhere near this kind of damage. This thing was, like I said, this is it was about two and a half times bigger around, and it, it actually stood up. Let's see if we can take a side view. Okay, you can see how swollen that that is. It's it's, it's like erupting out of the surface. Originally, wow, my hand is cold. Uh, I'd say yeah, it was probably a good three quarters of an inch taller. Uh, than it is right now. It stood about an inch, inch and a half total height on its worst day. It was like an inch and a half tall. And it felt like somebody had split my skin open and shoved a golf ball in underneath there and then sewed it all back up. It was, that's it, pretty bad, I know. But anybody else ever have something like this happen from a spider bite? I mean, I'm not convinced. I'm, I'm, that's the most logical explanation as to what happened here um god originally though it did look like a bullet wound originally uh it was so deep man oh my god it had to have been uh, we're bar we're looking at barely barely a quarter of an inch now that thing was three quarters of an inch to an inch deep originally and uh i've just been you know tending the wound ever since but if anybody else has ever had an experience like that, 